Hi friends, I'm going to show you a few things you need to know about using Seesaw at home. For our distance learning program, we're going to be using Seesaw to upload our assignments so that your teachers can view them. So let's get started. You're going to go to the Seesaw login page and click I am a student. Now, I'm going to email you a text code that you will be able to use to log in. It'll look something like this. Once you have entered in your text code, you will be signed in until you sign out again. Treat this code like a password and don't share it with anyone. Once you enter your code, click go. And that will take you to your homeroom page. Now, you are not going to be able to see anyone else's work but your own and I will be able to see your work and that's it. So let's practice adding an assignment. So to add an assignment, you're just going to click the plus button and you can choose however you want to upload it. It can be a photo of your work, it can be a drawing you do on screen, it can be a video of you explaining your work, or it can be anything. I'll do a drawing. So, as I'm working, I'll write on the screen. I can adjust the colors here or any of the writing tools I use. When I'm done, if I want to explain my recording to my teacher, I can click this button here and it'll record my voice. Whenever you are done with your assignment, you're going to click this check mark and it will upload it and it's going to wait for me to take a look and approve it. Now, to help keep your work organized, I've created folders for you to use. So to sort your work into folders, you'll scroll down to the bottom and click this folder button here, and it will tell you where you wanna sort your work. It can be for any of the subjects. So let's pretend this was a piece of writing. So I will click the writing folder, and when I'm done, I'll click the check mark. And it will let you know that this piece of work is stored in your writing folder. I'll be able to take a look at it and leave you comments on your work to see how you're doing. And that's how you submit an assignment on Seesaw.